MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel. And this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. Unbelievable. I couldn't even believe that there was two eights in there. This guy right here is doing something special. Uh, I welcome y'all to MBE. What you about to see? Box building in a different league. In this SQL scene, believe that money ain't a thing when it comes to his kings. Now that's fact, not fiction. Call 404 694 48 to 18. Okay. Don't matter, you got 48 or 18 or anything between. He got what you need. This is my crew. This is my gang gang. These are my kings. What's up? It's your boy MB. If there's one sub that can rival the performance of possibly DD2508, well, pretty much that's the only one nigga. I would output him. Maybe. <laughs> it's a toss up. That's why I call him King Kong. It'll be the DB Drive G78. This is my second. Second. Close second. Very, very close second option of driver that I have. Of all the eights I've tested, he has risen to the top. And in some scenarios, uh, maybe he can best the 2508. I've had customers who have both. And one particular customer, one guy has a Jeep uh, Gladiator. And one has the King Kong. And one, his friend, has the 2508. And uh, he feels as though the G7 is best in him. And that's his opinion. I just know that as far as output, there is no other traditional 738 cutout subwoofer that's going to keep up with this boy in output. Seriously. You're going to have to give it 2508. Yeah, in my opinion. You're going to have to give it 2508. The ceramic motor structure, the... Two, I think 2.75 inch voice core, the Toy basket, the large motor structure with the venting, uh, the carbon fiber dust cap, the pressed paper cone, the tall narrow surround, the seven and a half inch cutout, the 1250 watt RMS power handling. King Kong is King Kong ain't nothing to be played with, man. Seriously, honestly, this is a very, very close, very, very close to the performance of the 2508. So, arguably, you know, NBA, if you came on the 2508, which eight would you run next overall? You know, it's, it's going to be this boy right here. He he, uh, he occupies my, I go back and forth, man. <laughs> They go back and forth. Uh, can't fit up on the seat of a truck or a Ford. You're going to need a two and a half inch seat lift. Chevy 219 up. You're not going to need a seat lift. 2019 and back, you are. Uh, I do not. This is another driver that in like the 25, 25 way, I do not recommend you put these in 5th gen Rams. I believe you need to have a little more box volume, in my opinion, to really get the performance of what they can do. Put them in, in that kind of box volume, I believe, is uh, the limited performance that you can get out of this driver if you should give it in one cube or more. One cube or more. These, these like the, like Godzilla, are, these are 10-inch killers. These, these boys right here, there's some 10 inches that can't mess with them. Straight up, in my opinion. Uh, and that's where it is, you know. That's why him and his Godzilla, they sit at the very top of the king wall. Cause those are two that gonna they're gonna really bring that hammer to you. Really bring that hammer to you. So I just thought I'd put that out there about the G7. The whole DB drive line, they have very, very exceptional, very, very exceptional products. Check them out. You can get them, the DB drive, G5, G7. Uh, you can get them for me as well. Peace.